गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर नेचुरल एंड द मैन मेड डिजास्टर्स चैप्टर फाइव एंड लेट सी अबाउट द डिजास्टर्स एस ऑल ऑफ यू नो द डिजास्टर्स आर कॉज्ड आइदर दे आर कैन बी नेचुरल और दे कैन बी मैन मेड एंड वेन द नेचुरल एंड मैन मेड डिजास्टर्स आर मिक्स टूगेदर मीन्स वेन बाय द मैन मेड इफेक्ट्स सम नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स आर कॉज्ड दे आर कॉल्ड हाइब्रिड डिजास्टर so we are going to see about these three type of disasters your heading here to tells you about natural and man made so the mostly it is the natural or man made or sometimes the natural disasters which is been caused due to the some effects by the human beings so let's see here these three type of disasters and uh, these natural disasters are known as the calamities the sudden calamities now which type of sudden calamities there are so many examples you may know about the example of tsunami or earthquake or volcanic eruption or maybe the flood now these are some common natural disasters but as you can see here recently we are going we are uh, going through this covid 19 this is what now some people some scientists they are telling that these are the man made disaster some are telling it is a natural and some are telling because of the human some uh, scientist who have actually modified the this corona virus and because of that actually these all epidemic it just spreads all over the world that has been named after named as the pandemic well now this also is kept into the same category this is also a one disaster so let's see here about the disaster well in this chapter you will not going to study about the this type of disaster especially the corona disaster it is not given here in this book but we will going to see about some first of all some natural disaster and then we are going to see about some man made disaster and the third one we are going to see about the disasters natural disasters which are been caused due to the effects of the human beings the man made well so let's see here let's start here and all of you my i request you to all of you open your book that's why i'm teaching you from the book that's why you can't miss any line any paragraph anything from the book and when you will also open the book then it will be very easier for you to understand so all of you open this chapter and this page number and let's start here so the sudden calamities actually they are usually if you see they always hit some place without any previous means uh, any information and any notification and suddenly what happen we are been hit by some disaster so let's see here now usually the disasters can be often very very sudden and unexpected and most of them actually are very very severe and they impact in a different way now usually the disasters they just uh, the, they result into a very heavy loss of life and property means many la large number of people may be killed during the disaster and sometimes during some disasters the whole city is destroyed all the buildings everything so that can be kept into this category that is the loss of property and even the disasters also destroy the ecosystem so all over all together if you'll find it's the disasters not only affect the human life but it also affects the nature in the last decade it has been noticed it has been seen that about more than 200 million people they have been affected by these uh, natural disasters only by the natural disasters all over the world which type of disasters disasters like the flood earthquake volcanic eruption tsunamis now there are some more disasters i am not naming it here because in this book only few of the disasters you will study 
many of the disasters you will not even know about it because it's not uh, easier it will be because the chapter already is very lengthy so it's not uh, uh, means uh, we don't have the time actually we can discuss the all disaster many of them we will not going to discuss now one of them one of the such disaster is the avalanche now what is the avalanche avalanche actually is the sometimes in the mountainous region which is actually covered with the snow and when what happens when the whole the layer of the snow just come down comes down and what happen it just destroys all the villages and the cities everything that is down there down the hill and that, that is also our type of disaster now this thing we're not going to study in this chapter so we will going to only study the things which are in your syllabus which is given in this book so now here now why the the most important question actually arise here that why the disasters are been caused so if you find here the especially the disasters are caused due to the what thing modern science and technology the advancement of modern science and technology as actually you will find here the human beings they are modernized and uh, every year now the knowledge actually is increasing in such a way that every minute actually there is a lot of knowledge actually is increased now what is the meaning of knowledge actually knowledge in the means the different type of invention innovation all the things together now usually this thing is increasing there are the millions and millions of scientists and the research scholars they are all just totally dedicated and they are involved in the research field even during this time of uh, covid 19 well they, when there is a lockdown but the scientist actually because they don't have to go out and, it, and, and they have to um, show themselves to the people so in the research laboratory or maybe in their house or so whatever the facts and the data they are having with the help of that they are continuously involved in the research work and this is how actually every minute the knowledge is just growing now this is what we can say about the advancement of the modern science and technology so actually every year you can find in every field and technology in every means sector you can find there is a new type of innovations and new uh, inventions and new technologies are been introduced now you can see here recently just recently in india the 4g network was introduced by the jio reliance jio and what happened the all the other telecom companies they also followed the same thing they also introduced this 4g and suddenly what happened just only in one and two year only right not in even the two years and what happened suddenly a new technology 5g is going to be introduced they are planning to introduce this next generation that is 5g now this is what i am telling you about that how fast actually the knowledge is growing the knowledge means the advancement of the modern science and technology now what what happens here actually the human beings the scientists and everybody they are just totally focused on on the advancement of this modern science and technology and they are not actually total at all focusing on the how these things the technology and all these things they are affecting the people they are affecting the natural means the nature means the environment and also the human beings now one of the example that i can tell you now as uh, the latest research it shows that how actually the 4g is affecting the life of the people because the 4 4g is already it is very strong and the scientists they have uh, they have just researched and they have found actually that 5g is more stronger it's uh, many times stronger than the 4g and what happens well the speed is very very fast in that that is the, this uh, uh, technology that 5g but the thing is this uh, uh, radioactive waves actually it becomes so strong and it has been seen in many countries that how it has been actually affected the people now the same thing actually what happened when these radiation it affects the people it affects the first of all it, it affects the immune system system of the people 
this is what actually some of the scientists they have researched and they have found actually that how actually in China and in the European countries and in America actually why the there is a large case of COVID-19. The first thing actually what they have found actually that the because of the introduction of this 5G technology they, in these countries already they are using this technology. Now what happened the radiation already has just uh, just decrease the immune system of the people. The immune system of the people already have become very weak. And that's why what happened when this uh, virus, it hit them and so many people, they died. Now, same thing, it has not been seen the, in the other countries like in African countries and in India and the Asian countries. Why? Because we don't have the 5G. So the thing is actually, I'm just giving you one example that how actually one technology, uh, it is just affecting the human health. Same way, this uh, modern, the advancement of this modern tech science and the technology, it is affecting the overall, not only the human health, the human beings, but also affecting the environment, the nature. Well, and that is resulting into the disasters. Well. Now let's see here is another thing, the cause of disaster. Now what are the cause of the disaster? First of all, we are going to see, first of all, the first cause is the rapid and uncontrolled urbanization. Now, if you remember just uh, 20 years back, our, our city, Gorakhpur was a very small town. And in the just 20 years actually, what happened, you can find this uh, city has spread, expands in all the direction. Now you can find the city has uh, spread up to medical college on this road, our road. Here on the road of Devriya it has uh, just uh, spreading up to, already it has, it has been spread up to uh, engineering college, Badan Mohan Malviya engineering college. And everywhere here on the Nausar side also, now up to Nausar and even beyond that actually the city has been developed. And now the authorities, they are planning to just develop a new city on the other side of Rapti River. Now they will be going to name it as a new Gorakhpur. Well, this is what actually, I'm just telling you one example of the rapid and uncontrolled urbanization. Now in this actually what happened, this can cause so many things. Well, second cause, let's see here, what is the second cause? Second cause is the widespread urban and the rural poverty and unawareness. Now, usually the most focus, the most of the focus actually is being given to the cities, means the urban areas, development of the urban areas. And in this actually what happened, all the villages means the rural areas, they all are being left behind and this is why in the rural areas still you can find a lot of poverty and unawareness why because large number of people they are illiterate the third is the mismanagement of natural resources now usually you will find the human beings when they found some resource, they started using it in such a way that it is not properly managed. Now what is the meaning? Let me just explain you by giving one example. Now one example is the cutting of the forest. Now the forest is very very important. The forest actually is, it actually controls or it maintains the, the pollution level on the earth. Now what happened in this development, right, in, as the need of uh, agricultural land has increased because of the growing population and uh, because of the industrialization as it is start occurring in many areas and many of the areas where the natural resources were found, they were all, the, all the forests were cut and they were all developed into the cities. Now in this actually what happened in the development, right, many large area of forest already have been cut down and that is affecting what thing you can find first thing it is a global warming now because of this cutting of the forest what happened this is affecting the rainfall pattern some areas which were not uh, experiencing 
any rainfall means some deserts now they are they are uh, experiencing very very heavy rainfall the areas which were receiving very very good rainfall now they are experiencing drought so these such these type of uh, things is been seen all over the world well the third thing is the faulty infrastructure of buildings now usually when the some cities starts developing usually the people they buy the land and they start building their house now in this actually no planning is been done and the people they just develop the houses without any planning no planning of the roads and the drainage system and when the colonies develop and then actually what happened the nagar palika right they try to start building the roads and the drainage system in this actually what happen we face so many problem so next is the major fires due to the human carelessness and negligence at the public places like hospitals malls cinema halls now especially usually it has been seen that all the fire disasters they all are caused by very small error by the human beings it is just a small negligence or maybe the carelessness of the people usually the fire hazards broke out in some places like hospitals cinemas and halls or maybe in the malls many cases already we have seen in the past next is the terrorism leading to the explosion at the crowded public places now terrorism is also one big problem now these terrorists sometimes they explode some bomb there in some public places now that is also one type of disaster because it affects the whole place there many people they die and it also affects the property next is the inefficient public policies now in in efficient public policies means the government actually they just make the many policies but they are unable to apply it these policies are not uh, properly it is applied and next one is the nuclear weapons and the gas leaks now sometimes when the nuclear weapons may be some accident one example is the chernobyl disaster that occurred in ussr in ukraine what happens billions of people died there in 1986 then the gas leak this is example we can see about the bhopal gas tragedy in 1984 and that affected what many people died there we are going to see if it will be there then next is the railroad accidents due to the human error all the accidents usually if you find maybe it is a rail accidents railway accident or the road accidents they are all caused due to the human errors in all these accidents what happen many people they die so now let's start here the types of disaster so the, you, are, you are going to study about the three types of disasters now what are they the natural disaster man made disasters hybrid disasters today we are going to see about the natural disaster and in natural disasters we are going to just cover only one disaster this that is the earthquakes so let us start here first of all let's see some of the which type of uh, which are which are disasters are called a natural disasters look here some examples so you can find here earthquake is a one natural disaster hurricane landslide volcanic eruption then droughts now these are some common natural disasters which affect the different parts of the world now why this natural disasters actually are so common and uh, already we have seen some of the points that how actually the natural disasters have been increased in the last few decades and uh, now you will find actually in this one line actually everything is given here due to changing climatic patterns so why all these uh, in this uh, we have seen the increase in the natural disasters in this last few decades so that is all because of the changing climatic pattern now why this climatic pattern is changing due to the development we have seen we have already i shown you one uh, point there about the one point we have seen that is the 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 advancement of the 
science and technology i shown you that point this is the one point actually what i am showing you here you will find you should remember some points some points are very very important like i told you advancement of human science and technology this is the one point this is a some key word right so these type of things you need to underline it okay when i tell you all these things you underline in your book okay these are important things and it will be help you even after even in the higher classes right so let's see let's come back here and now let's start here about the earthquake so all of the all of you already have studied about the earthquake and uh, some or more knowledge already you are having so usually the earthquake actually is a trembling and shaking of the earth surface the vibration which is caused by what thing by the trembling and shaking of the earthquake now why this earth this earthquakes now the surface of the earth actually why it starts trembling sometimes and shaking what is the reason so the reason is what happened because all of you know the there are the different types of uh, the one scientist tuzo wilson has divided the earth into different uh, plates and he explained that how these plates they move in different direction now what happened these plates they move with their joints on their joints and what happen when these plates they move so sometimes what happen some uh, shaking and the vibration is caused so this is why actually because of this actually the earthquakes are generated so usually earthquakes now one line only given here earthquakes happen along the fault line now what is this fault line fault line is the joint between the two plates what is this fault line fault line is a joint between the two plates so what happen when these two plates as they move and sometimes what happen when they just have some type of uh, this obstruction between them and what happen earthquakes are generated well now the intensity of earthquake actually is measured by the scale it is called richter scale this word richter scale is named after the american scientist means seismologist the people who study the earthquake they are called seismologist and one of the very famous seismologist was charles francis richter and he was the person actually who has invented the seismograph seismograph is the instrument which measures the magnitude of earthquake so this magnitude or intensity of earthquake is measured by which scale we call it richter scale you can underline it richter scale it was named after which seismologist charles f means francis richter well now here this uh, so let's see here now these powerful vibration actually when the earthquake is generated earthquake is caused what happen there is a very powerful vibration actually is generated now these vibration which is generated it is called seismic waves right and what happen these seismic waves it just uh, moves all direction in all the direction and that is actually they actually causes the earthquake and when our these earthquake is caused in the sea under the sea now what happens very very large high wave look here these are the very high waves are produced and when they hit the coastal area they destroy everything the buildings and the everything that is on lies situated there yeah, on the coastal areas now these very high and strong waves are known as tsunamis okay so let's see here now let's see here about the effects of earthquake the first effect of earthquake is the tsunami as i explained you now what are the tsunamis tsunamis are tsunamis now what are the tsunamis tsunami actually is a japanese word which means harbor waves and already i explained you i have shown you this picture how these strong waves are produced due to the earthquake when it is the earthquake actually it occurs under the sea and ocean well so these impulsive displacement of the sea bed means the sea water when it reaches in the coastal area it destroys is destroys the everything there so that's why tsunamis are very very dangerous well now let's see here there, there is one example of tsunami is given here 
in india also right on 26 december 2004 right one tsunami actually hit india and the, all the countries around the indian ocean and uh, about 27000 people they died in 12 countries all together and only in india about 10000 people they died so let's see here let me show you here this uh, one figure here and in this it is very very clearly given here and you can see here the earthquake was generated in the uh, under the water under the sea floor that is near indonesia and what happened this uh, uh, this caused the tsunami the very strong waves and these waves they hit the uh, coastal area of from tamil nadu to this uh, andhra and odisha and also sri lanka maldives was hit and even you can find here this east eastern coast of africa was been hit by the tsunamis and here the indonesian island this is whole island and malaysia and all these andaman and nicobar islands were hit by the tsunamis so about 12 countries were affected by this tsunami right it was very very strong tsunami right and still actually whenever and uh, we the teacher they teach the tsunami about the tsunami then this example is been given okay now now here let's see about one more example of the one earthquake and this is a recent earthquake that was that occurred in 2011 that is the tohoku earthquake and this earthquake also caused the tsunami because it was near the coastal area so what happened here in 2011 right there is a near the coast of tohoku in japan and what happened the earthquake that hit uh, hit the place and because this uh, earthquake because of this earthquake what happened here Let look here so it was on 11th march 2011 and the magnitude of the earthquake was 9 richter scale and the epicenter actually was the oshika peninsula now this is a place actually in uh, japan now this earthquake was very 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 uh, strong and about 15883 people they died and even uh, 2671 people were reported missing means even their dead bodies were not found so they were missing now what happened in this uh, earthquake why this earthquake is so example so important and why it is given as example here so actually in this exam in uh, during this earthquake actually what happened the tsunami was caused and this tsunami actually just hit the nuclear reactor there was in japan there is a one nuclear reactor and this nuclear reactor is known as the fukushima daiichi nuclear power plant and this is uh, uh, still it is uh, situated near the coastal area now this tsunami has hit this uh, nuclear power plant and what happened it just caused a uh, leakage in this uh, nuclear power plant it was only because of the some japanese means the the people actually the who are who were working in this nuclear power plant and they actually have means uh, they have given their life in this all these things but they just have stopped the leakage because they know if uh, this uh, leakage will, will caused in this nuclear plant so it can affect the whole japan now already the japan japanese actually they know how there is nuclear power nuclear weapon or be, or maybe the nuclear um, this leakage can be dangerous because already they have been affected the nagasaki hiroshima that uh, incident still actually is in their mind and this is why actually about some of the people about uh, 100 200 people they just uh, given their life in all these things but they have just uh, stop means they have somehow actually they have controlled this uh, leakage and they actually have controlled everything all the matter there and they save a large um, life of the so many people and this is why this uh, uh, earthquake is so important right now let's see here and uh, some more thing actually so this uh, fukushima daiichi nuclear power plant in japan you just read it the other things right everything line by line um, this uh, explanation is not needed here now let's see the another topic the preventive measures for the safety from the tsunamis now what 
preventive measures can be taken for during the tsunamis the first thing is the construction of the cyclone shelters now usually uh, construction of there should be a, a cyclone shelter should be constructed now what are these cyclone shelters now usually cyclones are very very common in the coastal areas and because the cyclones always it destroys everything near the coastal areas that's why far from the coastal areas there should be some big shelter should be constructed in which all the people whenever there is a news or some information is there with the cyclone so the people can be shifted can be sent to the shelter center where they can be saved from the cyclones next is plantation of mangrove and coastal forest along the coastline now usually the forest they they what they do they just reduce the velocity of the wind so this is another one uh, one uh, important uh, point is here that there should be large belt of forest should be should be planted near the coastal area now these forest actually they reduce the the velocity of the winds and they can save the further damage next is the establishing cyclone warning systems through satellites and abiding by it now usually if you will find even in the weather report if you will find and sometimes when the map is been shown and you can see that how by different maps uh, sometimes they show that how the cyclones is uh, advancing from where to where and they show every detail there so some of you those who have seen this type of weather reports so you know that how actually by the help of the satellites because the satellites they usually continuously they take the picture right because the many cameras are there by the help of the cameras the cyclones can be can be uh, can be watched right and well so here another thing regular training of the fishermen coastal guards and official from the fisheries departments to help in the evacuation during a tsunami or a storm now usually what happen in these type of things now uh, you will find especially in all types of these uh, cyclones and the tsunamis usually the people who commonly are been uh, hit are the fishermen because the fishermen every day they used to go in the sea to catch the fish that's why these fishermen actually and especially the coastal guards and the people actually who are usually working in the coastal areas continuously every day so these people they need a special training they should be trained well that how actually they should handle or how they should actually behave and what steps they should taken during the uh, storms or cyclones or maybe by uh, during the tsunamis next development of tsunami detection and forecasting and warning of the dissemination areas now in the pacific ocean tsunamis are very very common now after 2004 that the tsunami that hit here that occurred here in the uh, indian ocean we have seen already after that the india and the, all the countries uh, the countries surrounding the um, surrounding the bay of bengal now they all also have uh, come to uh, one agreement and they they have already have just developed this uh, forecasting system and by the help of the satellites now they just uh, keep the eye on these tsunamis also so this is known as the tsunami detection and forecasting and warning system so these warning systems already it has been developed in the arabian sea also and in the bay of bengal also by the our country india and uh, malaysia indonesia together bangladesh myanmar so many countries together actually have cooperated and the last one is the planning for the reconstruction and rehabilitation programs now usually every country they are having the disaster management team now in our country also we are having the disaster management team now why we are having this disaster management uh, programs because disasters they usually hit some place without any further notice without any notice and that is why we should keep 
every country usually they keep a uh, one backup plan for that and that's why the another this uh, one point is here the government actually they have trying to just planning for uh, constructing the some uh, reconstruction and rehabilitation programs so already these type of programs already they are having so only during this time actually during that time of disasters so what happened they can use all these things well this uh, we call all these things also as a disaster management program now next is the tsunami warning system already i explained you about a tsunami warning system in pacific ocean it is very very common now in the indian ocean and all the countries together they are also have developed and continuously they are innovating it so now next is the preventive measures of the earthquake now usually what measures can be taken to prevent our house or ourselves during the earthquake so let's see here some safety tips so usually during the earthquake actually first of all it has been seen that uh, how actually the so how the people actually they have planned so usually some common points can be seen the first of all nowadays you can find there is a earthquake resistance buildings they are been constructed now in the earthquake areas the people when they construct their building they should they should consult the professionals in building the houses in the building such type of houses which can actually uh, can can means uh, can stand the earthquake that is called the earth, these are the these houses are called the earthquake resistant houses well these type of houses first of all should be built second thing in every house there should they should actually we should have actually one room one place where during the time of disaster especially during the earthquake actually the people they can run and they can take a shelter the third point every time the people they should have some the some canned food and something actually ready every time right some thing in their fridge or maybe something in their uh, groceries so during this time of uh, earthquake or these things natural disasters they can use all these things like what what type of things canned food up to date first aid about 3 gallons of water per person about then the dust mask and goggles battery operated radio and the flash flashlight now these are some common things we should have uh, in our in our uh, baggage right and is last point is whenever the earthquake hit you should we should actually turn off the gas and the water the main line of the water and also the electricity so all these things should be shut down so these are the things for we have finished this thing for this uh, earthquake is over now the next next class we will start with the flash flood so all the best all of you just revise this whole chapter